today we are at Cumberland Private Nature Reserve and this is going to be the video on the full walkthrough of the camper including the internal fit out and how we do it so stay tuned as we set up the camper all right so something you guys don't know is today i have a camera lady we have kirsten on the camera so kirsten you haven't actually seen her on the channel before you've seen on instagram if you follow me on instagram so that's who's wobbling the camera so if it's not nice it's kirsten so we're going to start doing the camper now <laughs> and take care of it a bit more so just a little tip for you guys um, let's go this side first so the reason I shut the door is just to get easier access to trying to put the pin for the sail <laughs> you guys obviously everything that we have on the camper i'm gonna open the cubicle just so you guys can see all the kit that we put on the camper so this is the latest star cubicle i understand which is quite cool because it actually has a little roof so if you are in rainy conditions and you're using the privacy cubicle for changing or the bathroom for example and it is raining you do have a roof and then the nice thing inside as well is it has access to your back seat window via a little entrance here which you can use depending on where you've put your shower cubicle so that works quite well because we can get into our back seats if we put something and then up here also acts as a shelf for you know your shampoos and your body wash so that's sort of what that area is up there and then also a nice feature is that they've actually uh, pop riveted your pegs here so each thing each um, product with the alucad products has its own set of pegs with it all the time so you don't actually ever lose your pegs Come around here, I'll show you also, like I said, all the products have their own pegs. Here's where the awnings ones live. Also up there. And you only use those if you're in high winds. Um, each pole has its own pull-out ropes. These are what they're tucked in here. And then it has one support leg for the awning. So when you get up. So this is the camper fully set up. Um, the only thing we haven't done, which we don't always do, show you guys real quick while I've got this out. This is probably my favorite addition of the camper. So it just keeps it keeps your bin nice and empty. Makes life easier for you. Um, so I think 
think what we'll do is just get straight into how we fit it out the inside of our camper. Um, so this is how it looks when we arrive at camp anywhere that we go camping. Uh, in the winter months we keep the heater here and the heater is just really easy to move. We just put some Velcro on the, the Flex Adventures fridge and then this is the mini Ulva gas heater. Um, if you guys want more information about this, I did something on my Instagram recently, a, a reel about it, so you can check that out. Okay, um, we have this little step over here. This is for Kirsten. She can't reach to get into the camper. And then, yeah, these are chairs. I'll just keep the chairs in the bag so we can pull them all out. Just makes life a lot easier. Set those down there for now. And then, yeah, this is the inside of our camper. So, like I said, there's our fridge. This is our second fridge. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that we have two fridges, one inside the camper and one on the back seats because we did a rear seat delete. We also have the midi net here. So we often don't use this unless we, like in the summer, we probably would use it a bit more when you want the door left open. But normally we keep the door shut if it does get really windy. Um, this is just your most common in and out area. So you generally want to get in and out of it quickly. The door is easy enough to open and close. Um, a lot of guys often wonder how we lock ourselves in. These are your internal locks. Very simple. Uh, there's two of them. If I'm being honest with you, you genuinely use the one. And then when you come around here, we, once this is, once the door is shut, I'll show you. Once the door is shut with the, the um, lock open, you can't actually lock it from the outside if you see what I'm saying. So that's just, I don't know if you get that or how do you lock yourself in at night? So that's how that happens. All right, so the cool thing about the camper is obviously the point that you can live inside it. Um, it's called a, that's a living system is what I would call it. Uh, when you climb in, there's a little hatch you push up and then you can push up the bed and then you are sitting inside your camper. So I'll just take you through what we've got and where it is. Um, on the door here, we've got just various storage. The top ones are actually all for my stuff. Different pieces of recovery gear, I suppose if you would call them. Just gear that we need to have with us. Um, different lubricants, um, some oils, you know, just your general stuff that you would need um, in the car all the time. Um, yeah, so basically we fitted the whole interior out with wood, as you can see. Um, my mate Terry and uh, Alistair helped us build this. Terry is an ex-carpenter, so as you can see, it's all very nice. I did some of the screws with a drill, that's about it. And Kirsten uh, painted all the varnish, so she did a very good job there. This section here is our cupboards. The top one is Kirsten's and the bottom one is mine. We found these boxes, they fit perfectly into the cupboards. So it, it, uh, what, it, what that does is it allows you to limit the amount of stuff you take. Often find when people go camping, they take too much stuff. So if you have uh, a space or uh, a box or a compartment that limits you, it actually makes it a lot easier to pack for that trip um, because you just can't go crazy if you see what I'm saying, you have to put some thoughts into it. But as you can see, Kirsten has pushed the limits to even steal some of my space down here with a toiletry bag. So yeah, that's our um, cupboards and this pulls away with some Velcro. Uh, my mom actually made this for me. She is a, a dressmaker slash fabric person that can make anything with a sewing machine pretty much. Um, she also made the rubbish bin that's on the back of my spare tire there. So yeah, that came out very nicely, just cleans it off and you know keeps our stuff stored in there. Um, on this side, like I said, this is the Flex um, TW45, so there's a dual zone fridge that just lives in here. Um, this is our couch area. So each side we can relax and just enjoy the camper if the weather's not so nice or if you want somewhere to come and relax. The idea was to try and make a bench space that you could kind of sleep on if you're a small person. Um, we do have another idea to get like a bench that fits in here, which would then open this whole area up as a platform. So you could maybe squeeze a third human, you know, long ways uh, at an angle in here. I have seen the guys on Oz do that before. Um, so that's just a, a later plan. Um, and then this is our big storage area where we keep 
pretty much all of our gear. You're gonna have to climb in here now. Um, so this was, these two straps are just basically here to hold the chairs in place when we're driving. So I just bolted them onto the exclusion that's already there. It does look like a bit of a mess, but there are three compartments inside here. This is a 55 litre water tank. I'll show you the tap on the outside just now. This section is our kitchen stuff. Um, basically just all easy to get to. Got our pots and pans in there with our gas stove. Um, and our bucket. This is solar panel. And in the middle one is just basically electronics and um, the compressor. And then we've got some spares of stuff like spare gas, spare wet wipes, tin foil, you know, storage area. Um, and then on this side, we've got the kitchen box. So this comes out as soon as we get to camp normally and then stays on the table outside. And then this is just more, more items that we come to that live in the car for camping. An extra light, our showers down there, you know, the cleaning stuff, the grill is here. Um, what else is actually here? Uh, fire lighters, there's a hammock in here, you know, just your miscellaneous items, my tackle boxes in there for the fishing rod. So yeah, it look, it, it does look like a mess, but it's it's organized chaos and everything has its home and I know where everything is and so does Kirsten. We put it on gas straps for an added feature just to make life easier when you are trying to get stuff in and out of here. I'll just pop that away for now. And then, climb back in your camera lady. So with this closed, we've got an area up here where we store our towels and some of our shower stuff. This is our shower mat for when we're in foreign places. This is where we keep the, this is a gutter for the awning. I'll show you where that goes just now. And then you've got our towels, Kirsten's spare blankie for around the fire. Um, and then this is the pegs for the rain shield for this door here. Um, and then if you turn the camera around this side, what we have done is the mat that was on the um, bench here that we sit on was actually up here, but we didn't need it because the bed is so long. So we use this to store extra jackets or clothing that we don't necessarily want to fit in there. In the winter months, obviously you're carrying jackets and um, they take up a lot of space. So you want to keep that for your clothes. And then it doubles up as a little dressing room for Kirsten with a flip mirror here and you know all the girly stuff keep our hats there speaker on there which is also with velcro so that's easy to come on and off uh, up in the area you've got on each side your power so you've got a light that comes out so you can have a reading light and then you've got your two siggy ports and then two usb ports in there as well and that's on both sides there's another one on this side as well so same story um, what we've done is we've put in some extra lights over here just to help with um, little ambience when we're in here and you know just lights to get to see what's in these pockets in here is some various items some of Kirsten stuff our fan and then there's another tripod in there that's another tripod and then on this side we have all our maps so we've got good old paper maps here, tracks for Africa, South Africa, and then certain countries as well and places. Um, and then we've got our um, can holders, coolers, stubby coolers. And then very important, everyone should have at least two, if not three of these in their vehicles. We've got one here and one in the center of the vehicle. This is your fire extinguisher, obviously, you know, just in case anything happens. Um, in an easy access area and then over here we've got 220 um, plug point that is wired into the inverter in the vehicle so if we ever need power in here we've got it as well and then you can see there the pipe running through to the tap which is on this side I'll show you the tap in a minute up here we've started a little photo album of all the cool places we've been so this is actually our second time here at Cumberland we've chosen a different campsite this time um, stay tuned we're doing a review on this site and our last site that we stayed in but that'll be in a future video so down here almost crushing the camera lady we we'll pull down the bed and then this is it this is the bed when we go to sleep obviously or if you want to come up for a nap you've got pockets there to for storage we also put up the fairy lights and then obviously it's got its big light there 
At the moment we are in winter, so we've got a duvet, and I think there's three blankets up here right now. Mm -hmm. um, and then obviously we run the heater if we need to. So yeah, this is also a custom mattress that we put in. Um, we're just fussy people. So it's actually, I think it's 110 mils. Um, it's four different layers of mattress. But I've also done a post on this on my Instagram, so go check that out. I won't go into too much detail. But yeah, custom mattress. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments. These also fold down, so like they act like curtains. And there's like a little window in the middle of them. They're on both sides. So if you actually want to keep the ventilation open, or if you've climbed into the camper to get changed, and you forgot to shut the door, you can drop the the curtain i suppose is what you would call it and you can actually enclose the area whilst everything is still open and air is flowing through or if you want to know anything else i'm happy to answer or do another video on the camper this is where that gutter went that i was telling you about that i had so if it is raining you can still keep the door open and come and get whatever you need um this is the tap that i was telling you about the taps on a pump so if you open it it'll start shooting the water out gas bottle holder on this side i've added a light up there just to help me with reversing at night and we've got this molly panel just with all of our outdoor um, accessories that you would need you know your spade panga and axe uh, we've fitted a camera down here uh, that's on all the time I've, I've done a video on the camera on the inside uh, we have replaced the um, rear view mirror which is now a screen got our mtech whip up here for our cell phone booster keep our hats here um i mounted some recovery boards on this side oh on the roof got solar panel and then those mounts on the side is for kirsten's paddle when we have a suck board on the roof i often get asked actually why didn't i go with the bigger panel i would have loved to have gone to the bigger panel <laughs> but uh, we need to carry the suck boards when we go around We've got a wood box here in front now. That's a custom made wood box for me from On Point Fabrication. And that just stores about, I would say, 15 to 20 kgs worth of wood, depending on how you cut it. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't know what else to tell you. If you've left anything out, please let me know in the comments and I'm happy to show you or talk about it in the future. But uh, thank you so much for tuning in this is the full camper reveal with all its accessories and uh, we've had it now i think for almost three or four months with it fully done uh, we've had it for longer but it, we were building it in stages and we're really enjoying it definitely is a next level game changer for camping if you are looking for something where you don't have to worry about where you are the conditions you literally can pull up set up in under a minute as you saw by yourself um, slowly and you have a house on wheels so thanks so much guys and stay tuned for the next one